Welcome to our solar electric trailer journey. This episode is a huge deal for us. We've been talking for months now about putting solar panels on our A-Liner Scout pop-up trailer. Hey, we did it! After we installed the panels, we took the RV on a road trip. We drove 300 miles, many of those miles through rain or hot summer sun. And the panels did great. We had absolutely no problems whatsoever. We're excited to share how we did it, but we encourage you to talk to experts if you plan on taking on a project like this by yourself. Okay, now we're kind of at the, the very earliest steps of getting the solar panels on the trailer. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm uh, laying out uh, kind of a mock-up on the garage floor here. Uh, you know, we're just right next to the trailer. And uh, so I've just mocked up an area on the floor where we will lay out the solar panels in the configuration we want just to make sure everything looks the way we want it to look and then I'll be uh, putting them on the on the roof um, of the of the trailer. Okay let me explain a little bit about what uh, Gail and I are doing uh, right now is we're we're applying a two-sided tape to the back of the uh, solar panels yeah. and you know, we'll, we'll discuss more about this, but it, this isn't necessarily the best way to do it. This is sure an easy way to do it. It's permanent, but the solar panels should have a much longer life than the RV. So we, we, they should never come off the RV. That's what we would expect. So uh, it, we'll attach them once, leave them on permanently, and, and that's the deal. So um, it's... This two-sided tape is actually pretty easy to work with. It's uh, the Scotch uh, Mount Extreme, and uh, it's really pretty handy. Anyway, uh, the uh, the idea that these happen to look like uh, American flags <laughs> is purely coincidental. I understand. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, just an artifact of the yeah. red lining. Yeah. We'll peel the red off, yeah, and it'll be black underneath, right? Yeah, it'll just be black. Yeah. Um, you know, optimally, solar panels would have some uh, air insulation under them to keep them cooled. Uh, solar panels are more effective when they're cooled. Uh, but this solution actually, th th this tape is thick enough that it will actually keep the solar panels off. Uh, they are not directly in contact with the uh, roof. And so I'm hoping that that actually does provide a little bit of yeah, uh, insulation. Yeah. And so I'm hoping it helps. Yeah. So yeah. fingers crossed, this will be a good way to install yeah. solar panels. Um, we're showing you how we're doing it. Uh, let me remind you, we're not like experts. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so this is, this is our first solar install. <laughs> Watch and learn. <laughs> Maybe this is just a case study on how not to do it. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. The first step in uh, putting the solar panels on the roof of the RV is to clean uh, the top pretty thoroughly so that uh, there is a good uh, adhesion to the tape that we use to hold the uh, tiles in place. Okay, so our, our, next, <laughs> our next task is to place the solar panels in their proper positions. Not stick them on, but to place them on and mark where they go using a pencil so that we can get them as exactly right as possible. So watch us do that. Yeah. Now, uh, the uh, heat index here in Jacksonville <laughs> as we're doing this is nearly 100 degrees. It's yeah. one of the hottest days of the year so far. <laughs> so we're sort of melting. <laughs> But uh, the next step is we're going to take the solar panels off. We've now marked where they go. We'll take them all but one off, and then we'll begin fixing them in place. But I'll, I'll climb on top of the roof to do that, uh, so we kind of need the, the panels all gone. So. Wish us luck. <laughs> That's it. Okay, now, it, you know, the, it's getting real now. Uh, we're going to uh, begin actually sticking sticking the uh, solar panels onto the roof of the RV here. So uh, keep your fingers crossed and wish us good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. What you see Devin doing here is not actually wiping off the solar panels, but he's pushing down firmly so that there's a good adhesion to the top of the RV. 
Oh. Okay, so we, we have we the, <laughs> the solar panels are They're stuck. On. They're taped on, on to the roof. What we're going to do now is add a little bit of, hold up that tape here. This is that uh, roofing tape we've used in the past on some of our other projects. And we're going to put a little of this on the leading edge, the edge that faces the wind. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the, the tape we've got, um, I'm not sure that it'll hold if we have 70 mile an hour winds pulling mm -hmm. it up. But if we tape yeah. the leading edge down, I think we're going to be in great shape. So we're going to tape some of those leading edges down on all five of the solar panels and then uh, I think we'll be in a position where they, they won't come off. But we'll be able to tell if there's yeah. tightening, pulling, tearing on this tape yeah. if we need to add more after our first adventure here in a couple of weeks. So we'll let you know how that goes. But we're going to add uh, some, uh, some of this fasten, X fasten, I don't know what it's called. This is kind of the cheap knockoff brand of, of tape that we've used on our project in the past. We hope you find this video helpful. In the coming weeks, we will be sharing more of the process of installing the solar power into the RV. So please subscribe. Thanks for joining us on our journey. We'd love to hear from you, including feedback on any experience you have using solar panels on your home or your RV. The easiest ways for you to share with us are to comment on the video or on our newsletter. You can also uh, reply to our newsletter and we get those and we reply to those replies. <laughs> uh, so if you haven't subscribed yet, visit OurSolarTrailer.com to subscribe. We look forward to hearing from you.